Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Naz. And I'm Alba and we are in Vietnam. This video is super exciting because we got to see one of the most beautiful places on earth, Lan Ha Bay and Ha Long Bay. In this video, we're going to show you and explain the best way to see Ha Long Bay. It's not as simple as you might think because a lot of people just go to Ha Long and take a cruise from there. Yeah. But what if we tell you that there's an alternative that's cheaper that's better, that has a less obstructed view. Well, this is exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. But before we get started, let me explain. Most people that visit Halong Bay take a cruise from Halong, and that cruise normally starts at, a, at $150 per person. Per night. Per night. But there is a much better and cheaper way to do it. You can travel to Katba Island, and from there, take a cruise to see Lanha Bay, and that will also take you all the way to the border of Halong Bay as well. The reality is that Lan Ha Bay and Halong Bay are essentially one, they're connected. But don't take our word for it, local people have told us that. Can you tell me how is the difference between Halong and Lan Ha? I think the name is different. <laughs> <laughs> just a <the> name. <laughs> the difference is merely just the name. But obviously Halong Bay is much more famous and what ends up happening is that it also gets a lot more crowded. We were told that right now there is about 700 cruise ships in Halong Bay, whilst Lang Ha Bay was pretty much empty. And 700 cruise ships, they kind of crowd the view, the smell of gasoline is in the air and there's more pollution. So with Lan Ha Bay, we were very, very lucky because we got an amazing experience, amazing views and we're gonna show you right now. We started our journey in Hanoi, where we booked a transfer for 300,000 dong per person. They picked us up from our hotel and we drove for about 45 minutes through the highway. Later, we made a quick break stop where we could go to the bathroom and grab something to eat. We got back up on the bus where we drove for another 45 minutes until we reached the pier where we would be taking a speedboat. We had the tour guide the whole way and he told us that in the summer months there's way too many people trying to cross to Katba Island and that the best way to reach there when it's crowded is via the cable car. But it's only opened in the summer months, so we had to take the speedboat. The boat ride was very pleasant and we were there in under 10 minutes where another bus picked us up to take us to the center of Katba Island and drop us at our hotel. We just arrived to our hotel in Katba Island and I booked this place because of the views. Come, 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 come. Whoa. guys we just woke up in Kadwa Island and the views from our hotel are absolutely incredible they're delicious and we just had a delicious breakfast it's getting to the time that we're gonna go out into the tour yes I'm so excited and we actually booked the tour with the same company that brought us from Hanoi to Kadwa and we paid $35 per person for this tour I'm excited we're gonna take you along with us for the ride and ah, yeah let's go Our boat is waiting back there for us. We're gonna take a small boat to the big boat. We just got welcomed into the boat and the plan for the day is we're going to cruise along the bay for a bit and we are going to go do some kayaking in some caves which I'm so excited about. Later we're going to have lunch and then we're going to go swimming in some beaches as well and I think we're going to end the day seeing again the fishing village. I'm so excited to show you these. Let's go out. We 
been strolling around in the boat and the views are gorgeous. We've also just passed a rock formation that's about to be destroyed because it's so thin, it's gorgeous, but of course, this is an ever-changing environment which makes it so precious. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna stop at a spot and we're gonna kayak through some caves, hopefully. So I'm very excited about that. Let's go. Water shoes and my water top from Chagall. We're drifting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you do so well, Alma. I gotta enjoy these small moments to rest. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> no, it's really cool. Like the views are insane. There's not too many people, which is amazing. And uh, Alba has been somewhat cooperative. Hey, Mary. In, uh, in uh, rowing. So yeah, it's, it's, the views are insane. Like I'm, I'm really happy that we're here. There's a cube. Good job, Alva, good job. We've just come back from kayaking and the experience was so, so good. We got to go through some caves and the views were astonishing. It took us about an hour and a half to, to do the whole journey, but we had multiple spots at which we stopped to just appreciate the views and like take it all in. So nice, some people decided not to do it, but I would recommend you to do this. Uh, and now we're gonna go have lunch. Can you ever spend a day without having a coffee? Obviously not. Extra drinks are not included, um, so I paid 40,000 dongs for this coffee. Delicious. We were going to go to a swimming spot after we had lunch, but the tide is really low. So our tour guide has decided to take us to Monkey Island which used to be closed during the COVID years but now it's open so we're gonna park the boat near there and we're gonna try to swim to the island let's see if we can but it's looking gorgeous and we're super lucky because the sun has come out the skies are blue so amazing After we both jumped from the boat to the water, we are now walking all the way to the beach, which is there. Well, we were swimming, but now we have feet. And of course, I'm carrying Alba. She's not walking, no. She's not putting her precious little feet on the floor. Obviously. Even though we have shoes, water shoes. And yeah, in this beach, it's meant to be monkey island, so there's meant to be monkeys, but I can't see any. Let's see. Let's explore the beach and see if there's any. Oh my god, I see one. Oh. oh my god, I see one on the beach! <laughs> So apparently the monkeys are not friendly and so you have to be a little bit careful, they can bite you. Yeah. And the tour guy is saying be careful, be careful.
I have to say, it feels like such a luxury treatment. We got out of the water and they had like water to shower. They gave us towels, like even the bathrooms like on the boat are like really good. So like at the end of the video, we'll recommend the company because I definitely think you guys should book it. Such great value for money. So. <laughs> passing through the fishing village the community have been here for over 7,000 years which is crazy and there is over a thousand people in the village obviously in Kadva there is a lot of seafood and fish and this is where it comes from we're coming to the end of our tour and I'm sad because it was amazing Kadpa Island is such a charming place. We stayed right in the center uh, and our hotel had views to the bay. And honestly, breathtaking, especially the sunset. So, so beautiful. At points, it felt like we were on a cruise as well because we had those views and they were unobstructed. So I do think it was an amazing experience. Not only it was beautiful, but also we saved up to like $500 by doing that instead of going on a cruise. We got to see Lanha Bay and a bit of Halam Bay and honestly we couldn't even tell the difference. We went to Katma Island by taking a transfer from Hanoi directly there and it took us about 3 hours and 30 minutes maybe depending on traffic. We booked it with Katba Express and we couldn't recommend these guys more. We also did the tour with them, they have Serenity Cruises as part of the same brand and again, the tour guide was amazing, the whole organization was great, and it only cost us $35 per person. Honestly, we loved our time in the tour, and while we were out in the sea, we saw other boats passing by that honestly didn't look as good. They felt super crowded, the people didn't feel too comfortable, whereas ours was three stories, it was, a, it, there was a lot of space for everybody and we felt very comfortable. So we highly recommend it. We'll leave the link below so that you can check it out for yourselves. That's gonna be it for today's video. Hopefully you liked seeing what Lan Ha Bay and Ha Long Bay look like, but our adventures in Vietnam will continue. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to our channel to not miss out on our next adventures in Vietnam. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in, in our, our next, next video. video.